This is the story of how McCain lost his campaign and what Obama did good instead. So, now, what happened? Why do I lost? Why Obama won? I don't know, sir. Uh, we, we, we don't know. So, let's go to find information. I want to know, quickly, <laughs> now. Okay, so did you find some information? If yes, tell me the answer. So, uh, sir, um, I have some answers that I researched. Um, well, I must say that, first of all, Obama understood what CRM is and the three macro areas that CRM is composed by. The strategic, the operational, and the analytical. And he used the analytical quite a lot with data acquisition and data analysis. First of all, one thing that I wanted to tell you was the experiment that they did. It was really cool. What they did, well, actually Dan did it, he used uh, an experiment to see which button for call of action and which media would be more useful. Uh, they changed the splash page a lot of times and they tried which one would work best. They tried a lot of different things and in the end they found that with the sign up sign and a different and a special image it would work well and it can be um, possible to assume that the final splash page was able to reach three more million people than other options uh, so actually I found some interesting information I tried to compare our result with the Obama's result and I came up with the, the idea that uh, he was able to communicate much better than us. He was able to reach the young in a way that we didn't. He was able to use a uh, social network. And even if the young people, we, they are not interested anymore in politics, through social network he, he was really able to engage them better. I tried to apply a model, the TICC model, in our, in our campaign and in Obama's campaign, and I found out some in interesting information. Concerning the targeting, as I told you, the young guy was better engaged by him. Moreover, he was able to engage all the communities of people in America, and we didn't. Why? Basically, I think that uh, he was able to communicate to all the Americans that uh, we are all part of the same countries, no matter the color, no matter the race, we are all Americans. And we mistook in this. Moreover, the TICC model talked about the interaction. How would you interact? We interact like through really few social networks, we interact with only offline activities. Instead, he was really able to match the online with the offline. He was able to engage everyone with the, the dinner with Barack. He was able to use a social network that anyone used, like Black Planet. It's really, he was able really to, uh, to uh, reach everyone in at 360 degrees. Moreover, the control, he, he had a wonderful team of uh, analytics, uh, of analysts. For, uh, lead by Dan Siroken. He was able, as, as my, my colleague said, he was able to analyze and understand which was the best splash page to use and he was able to continue to track the ongoing campaign. And then the continuity. The continuity is important because when you finish and when you win, you have to continue to try to, to talk with your, with, uh, with your customer. And during the speech in Chicago, in the 1st of November 2008, he was really able to make the people believe that what he, what he said is going to be happen. So this is why I think uh, we made a great mistake and, and he won this time. Uh, I've also found some, some information. Uh, there are some differences between uh, general uses of social media and the Obama campaign. So uh, in general relationship, uh, regardless of uh, physical distance, you can communicate with anyone who you want to, so you can uh, accelerate the relationship and easy to create a group. So if you're interested in something, you can find someone easily who who like the same thing with you, not only in the region but also in globally. <coughs> and uh, cyber relationship, you can also create some friends through the social media. And uh, lost emotions, according to Miss Morin, she she had done some uh, researches that. Technology is actually ruining our ability to detect, uh, to read the emotions. According to the Ms. Morin, she has done some st uh, studies saying that um, technology is actually ruining our ability to read emotions. Um, even though there is already social media sporting um, face chats, people still prefer to talk through the just off uh, chat that doesn't show the face. And uh, enhance and worsen relationship at any time. Um, 
since you can see the other activities that people are doing around you through the social media, you might see something good or bad and that can affect the relationship at any time. And in Obama campaign, uh, something the big difference is that he actually combined the online activity and the offline activity. That's actually good. And, uh, and he, uh, he did lots of physical participation in, the, in some residents in the United States. And when he says something important things, he actually did a speech to, in other regions instead of just saying it through the social media. And he also used uh, Web 2.0 very well. He, com uh, he communicated with supporters, not only the uh, mass advertising that give the exactly same answers to questions to uh, supporters. So, so uh, Obama campaign makes people feel like they're their one family. And uh, a big variety of social media channels are used, but well, actually, the normal people also use the lots of uh, social medias. But what he did was he actually used a very efficient way. <coughs> One really good example was uh, using the Reddit. Reddit is a social media, uh, social media website where you can share lots of funny things. But instead of sharing funny things, Obama actually used it as a 30 minutes question and answers, and this actually made uh, lots of sports have better relationship with him. And uh, Virtual relationship marketing and the travel marketing, he used to very, very well. He used uh, virtual relationship marketing to create new uh, supporters that he couldn't go. And also he used travel marketing that he created lots of communities uh, with the, with the supporters. And by having more supporters one by one, uh, from one person spreading to his surroundings and the community became stronger and stronger. And uh, that's, all, that's all I know, that's all I know. Hey yo, tell me something. Okay, so uh, what's going on now? Okay, I'll probably I will tell you something about the, how can we, how can the Obama Obama team get data. So actually, the main data they use is the first hand data. Uh, they are quantitative or quantitative. So they have different kind of channels to get uh, data. So for example, email, they have actually uh, 13 million people on the email list, which is really big, much bigger than us. I would like, I'm afraid to say. And they also have donors, social networks, websites, videos, or mobile, like SNS campaigns or phone calls. So uh, in the social media platform, actually, for example, the Facebook, they got five million friends. I think it's much, much bigger than our like water base, which is really depressed. Okay, so I would like dig more about social media platform. So in terms of the role of social media in relationship with the people who use the internet, I think uh, we we can use five C to analyze that. So the first C is content, uh, which refers that every customer can generate their own idea on the social media platform and then can make that uh, really viral, like uh, make it very really, really influential among other peers. And the second C is the uh, control uh, conversation. So it means that social media are able to engage people uh, through a very, very different uh, dimension or conversations, for example, video or photos or just by words, writing an article put on the social media platform. Uh, the third C is um, customer-centric storytelling. So actually social media now is able to do this kind of stuff uh, by to get people's attention by showing the story related uh, to the actually the waters and the first one is the connection so now uh, through the social media every internet users can build the con a connection with others uh, regardless of the limit of geographic stuff and the last one would be the community so actually the people who host their uh, own values or interests could just form a community online 
So actually, for example, for us, I think the, our supporters could just form a big community, communities online on social media platform, for example, Facebook, uh, to unite themselves and then to support us. So, uh, so as a conclusion, um, I'm afraid that uh, the same old methods that we used to do every four years will not work anymore. Uh, because what Omaba did and we didn't do is that he realized the importance of um, the relationship, not only like normal relationship, but relationship with people from different societies and sub societies and other races. Like that has never been done by any other candidates before. So I think that's how he won like so many people's hearts, sir. And because he recognizes them and we think so his strategy was to convert these um, everyday normal people uh, into supporters by volunteering for him by empowering them through uh, his online platforms like the website to carry out his online campaigns and through that he allowed them to create the online campaign and to advocate his candidacy. So he connects these people to the other supporters or other advocates or other potential supporters and advocates by letting them influence their surroundings and people around them. So basically he doesn't have to do that. He let his supporters do that for him. So. And we completely missed that out. We never realized that we could do such thing. And he did it. I mean, we failed at realizing the importance of social media and the web analytics tools and other technology that we could have used. So, so, so what I see from now is that in the future, running the election won't be the same anymore because um, Mr. Obama has um, entirely set a new standard for us and everyone else. In the next four years, I think internet and social media will be overly saturated with candidates trying to uh, do the same thing what he did. So I would like to recommend that to stay ahead of these people, we should heavily focus on like the technology like big data and a web and a web 3.0 to like use the algorithm to to kind of recommend or suggest like the intelligence website you know sir or perhaps even use the virtual reality it's it's the future sir um i don't know how as yet but that's what we can do for the next e election. So, what do you have to do now? Uh, I think the best way is to wait for another one, four years. To wait what? Another year, another four years. You're out. You, you're the worst team ever. Oh. You, everyone, it's fire. No. Go away. But, me? Go away. Quickly, out.